Clearwater Beach is known for its soft white sand and shallow calm waters, but this video isn't just about the beach. Today, we're going to take you on a beach bar crawl to five bars on Clearwater Beach. Along the way, we'll show you the gorgeous views from the beach bars and some of the delicious food we tried. Make sure to watch until the end to see a unique Florida sunset from a pirate ship. The first beach bar is at Shepherd's Beach Resort. A pathway lined with palm trees will lead you to the bar called Tiki Beach. Shepherd's is full of beach loungers with umbrellas available to rent. The beach at Shepherd's faces Clearwater Pass and is very well maintained. The drink menu was extensive and the prices were reasonable for a beach bar. I ordered the watermelon mojito and Skylar ordered the tropicolada. Initially, I thought Skylar's drink didn't look appetizing, but it ended up being our favorite. There's another one of those floating tiki huts out. We do want to mention that typically Shepherds hosts live music, but we started our beach bar crawl too early to experience it during our visit. Outside of Shepherds, there is a gift shop and a place to rent jet skis, scooters, and bikes. Right outside of Shepherd's, you can stop by here to rent a jet ski, go parasailing, paddleboarding, kayaking, rent beach chairs, do those little scoop coop things, scooters, bikes, golf carts, and road bikes. There's a lot of options for rentals. A beautifully landscaped path from Shepherds will quickly lead you to our second stop. Which was Jimmy's Fish House and Iguana Bar. The Iguana Bar is located at the Holiday Inn on Clearwater Beach. Jimmy's has the largest waterfront deck on Clearwater Beach. From Jimmy's deck, you can enjoy drinks while watching boats pass by. Even though there's only a little beach over there, it's pretty packed. Jimmy's is also known for having live music. We ordered Jimmy's Bloody Mary and the Mai Tai. We had heard that the Bloody Marys were really good and they did not disappoint. So in these Bloody Marys, what do we got here? What's at the bottom? I don't know. Can't Gotta tell? Look it up to see. Oh, there's even oh, more. Celery. We got celery, looks like a red bell pepper, a pickle, a green bell pepper, and then another banana, a pepper. banana pepper, a and tomato, tomatoes. an olive, and a shrimp. That's a good skewer. And this one is a Mai Tai. They use fresh tomato juice. It doesn't taste like a Bloody Mary mixer, which I like. Yeah. It does taste like a fresh Bloody Mary. We had also seen their iguana bread advertised and had to give it a try. 
So this is a pretzel in the shape of an iguana. Because we're at Jimmy's Iguana Bar. My iguana friend. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Alright, I'm going to take a piece of this iguana off. <laughs> so wanted to check in really quick. We're about to leave bar number two, and so far it's been a beautiful day for a beach bar crawl. The drinks have been great, the views have been even better, and we are ready for bar number three. We'll see you there. The third stop on our Clearwater Beach Bar Crawl is only a five minute walk from Jimmy's. The sidewalk is lined with palm trees. Eventually, a sand pathway leads to the sandbar. The sandbar is a beachfront tiki bar located behind the Opal Sands Resort. The views from the sandbar were incredible. beach bar crawl during spring break. It just happened to be that way. And that's Clearwater Beach. If you can't tell, it is packed. But we are staying over here where there's a little bit more space. Here we tried the blueberry mojito and the jalapeno heat. Both were rum drinks with fresh ingredients. The mojito had fresh blueberry and mint, while the jalapeno heat had fresh jalapenos and pineapple. The drinks at the sandbar were a little more expensive, but if you want a view like this, the extra cost may be worth it. The fourth stop on our beach bar crawl was about three quarters of a mile north of the sandbar. We initially decided to walk along the beach. We also want to note that there is a really nice wide path you can take to the next bar as well. We got tired of the beach crowd really quickly and decided to stop in for a coffee at the Barefoot Beach House. This is really good. It's like a toffee nut frappuccino. After coffee, we decided to avoid the crowds and took the sidewalk path. Clearwater Beach was rated the number one beach in the U.S. according to TripAdvisor in both 2018 and 2019. If you're interested in checking out some of the other top-rated Florida beaches, we'll make sure to leave links to those videos in the description below. When we passed Pier 60, we followed a sand path in front of the pool at the Hilton Hotel. The path led us right to a small tiki bar behind the Hilton, called Tommy's Tiki Bar. This tiki bar had plenty of space to spread out in the sand. Here we tried the locked and loaded Bloody Mary, the Lemon Cosmo Cooler, a local beer from Coppertail, and the Drunken Rum Drink. We do want to note that if you want your feet in the sand at a bar, you'll want to go to Tommy's Tiki. Our fifth and final beach bar stop was around a half mile north of Tommy's Tiki Bar. It was pretty hot out, so we walked on the sidewalk and took advantage of the shade. The Palm Pavilion is where we closed out our beach bar crawl.
The patio had a nice view of Clearwater Beach from a distance. Here we tried the Cabana Rum Drink and the Key Lime Colada. We also couldn't resist trying some Gator Bites. Even though our beach bar crawl was complete, our day was far from over. We made a quick stop at Hulk Hogan's bar. Which we were told he drops by regularly. To Skylar's disappointment, we didn't get to feel the power of Hulkamania on this visit. Next, it was finally time for a proper meal. We ended up at Coco's Crush Bar and Grill. They're known for their crush drinks, which they make with fresh squeezed oranges and grapefruits. We ended up ordering the Euro nachos and the traditional Euro. The meal gave us the energy we needed to set sail on a pirate ship for sunset. The Pirate Cruise offers fun activities for kids and free beer and wine for adults. Skylar was excited to see the 90s throwback beer cans. Once the ship set sail, we were able to get a view from the captain's deck. The pirate ship sailed in Clearwater Pass to see the sunset. From here, we were also able to see two of the beach bars we visited earlier in the day. The sunset was stunning, and the beers were abundant. Thanks so much for coming along with us on our Clearwater Beach bar crawl and our pirate ship sunset cruise. Not only were we lucky enough to catch a beautiful sunset, but we also got to see a full moon over the water. If you're interested in more Tampa Bay area and Florida content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.